Hi everyone, Mark here. And in today's devotional, Jesus continues to teach us about passing judgment on others. So in Matthew 7, verses 4 to 5, Jesus says, How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye, when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? You hypocrite! First take the plank out of your own eye, and then you'll see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. And the key phrase here is seeing clearly. Jesus knows that at times we need to point out the fault in another Christian brother's or Christian sister's life. But Jesus wants to make sure that we do so with a right attitude of heart. Because it can be very easy to point out someone else's fault with a sort of secret inner pleasure or sort of smug self-satisfaction, rather than actually be genuinely concerned with their growth in Christ-likeness. Very easy to critique someone when inside there are feelings of superiority or one-upmanship or just a self-righteous attitude. And Jesus says, you hypocrite, how can you hope to, to take the speck out of someone else's eye, point out their fault, when you've got this huge self-righteous log plank sticking out your own eye? You must deal with that first. And if you think about the eye itself, it's a very delicate organ. You know, if you just have ever touched your eye with your, your finger, it can be really quite painful. Or if a bit of dust or pollen flies into it, soon enough your eyes are, are watering, you know, you can't see... Um, very well. In other words, you need to be extremely careful when you are taking the speck out of someone else's eye. And this is the picture Jesus gives when it comes to us pointing out a fault in a Christian brother or sister's life. We need to be extremely careful. And so the question that Jesus has for each of us this morning is, are we seeing clearly? That is to say, are we humble enough to admit that there but the grace of God, there go I, before we point out someone else's fault? Are we humble enough to admit that we are no different than anyone else when it comes to our own propensity towards ungodly thoughts and attitudes and behaviour? That we are just dependent on God's forgiveness than anyone else, just as dependent on his power to change in our lives. Only then, Jesus says, will we be seeing clearly. Only then will we be ready for this delicate pastoral situation of pointing out the fault in someone else's life. Well, let me pray that we are all seeing clearly this morning. Let's pray. Father God, we are sorry when we are quick to judge others, point out other people's faults when our heart is not in the right place. Please forgive any self-righteousness, one-upmanship, any feelings of superiority we have towards anyone else because of sin in their life or what they have done to us. Please humble us afresh and please move our hearts so that our main concern is seeing people grow in Christ-likeness. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.